Hello everyone. A few weeks ago some people have asked to see my collection and I kind of postponed it because uh, my collection is usually in disarray since I'm always pulling out cards for other comparisons and reviews. But uh, I said I would review it when I do it when I get a thousand subscribers and now some people have told me I've passed that mark. So uh, first I want to thank all you guys that are subscribed. It's uh, really flattering that you're willing to take time out of your day to listen to an old band talk about model cars and then second I want to thank all the other YouTube channels because uh, without your reviews I probably wouldn't buy a lot of these models uh, I do buy some randomly but most of the time whenever I buy something I check to see other people's reviews right I don't want to get ripped off I don't want to buy a piece of garbage but I still tend to do it anyways okay so now in particular I have to shout out to two channels because uh, they reached out to me when I was really starting out. Uh, the first is Twice Diecast, and then I think maybe the very next day, XLT Offroad Bear. It, both of you guys uh, promoted my channel through your channels, and so I really appreciate that. I'm pretty sure anyone, all you guys have already been on those two channels, and then you heard about my, my channel through those two guys. So I'll always be grateful to you guys. And it's always a pleasure chatting about cars and diecast with you guys on, on the comment section. Alright, so what we're looking at here is uh, my main case. And uh, actually before I get into that, you might be wondering what's next to it. So before I was collecting these cars, I was collecting these 112 scale action figures. And uh, they're great and all, but they're very expensive. So, And they're really large. So I don't really have room for them, so I stopped collecting maybe a, a year ago. And then before I was collecting those, I was collecting diecast airplanes. And I do mention these every now and then in my car reviews. These are the 1200 scale ones. They're made by Herpa mostly, Herpa, a German brand. Uh, they're mostly fighter jets, although these two bombers obviously are, are large, but they're all to the same scale. The cars inside of these are 150 scale though, mostly by Tomitech. The same company as like TLV. Okay. Uh, so, well, I'll talk about these here. So these are one four hundred scale airplanes. So they're twice as small in scale, but since they're commercial jets, they're actually physically larger models. Well, except for these ones right here. Uh, some GSEs, ground surface equipment, and one four hundred scale and then these planes. And so the graphics on these planes are really fantastic. So it's quite amazing. And it's really interesting to see the differences of size amongst airplanes. Here's the A380, which is the largest commercial airplane. I mean, that's huge, right? So I featured this uh, Z-Scale train set in uh, a different video if you want to search that out couple more random action figures. I like ridiculous things. And so this banana Peely character is by McFarlane Toys. Okay, so these are some random cars. You know, random scales, so they're just jammed up in this shelf here. We got some 400 scale construction equipment. And now we got the military jets and uh, heavy cargo planes coming up here. These are all 1-400 scale again. sci-fi vehicles. Alright, so the these are one N scale or 1150 to 1160. I think I featured some of these as well. And then some random sci-fi stuff. 144, 1350 stuff. Okay, so let's get into that uh, cabinet again. Oh, before that. Here's some uh, Hot Wheels and random, random sized objects. Okay. I'm going to try to do this in, they're, they're organized in alphabetical order. You might ask yourself, where's the person doing this video? I have a black piece of plastic in front of the camera here, so you don't have to see my ugly face. You want to see the diecast cars and not some person talking through a mirror, right? It's a mirrored case, so it'll be really distracting to see my hands moving around and stuff. Alright, so this top shelf here with these tourist two cars are by AC. 
Then when, next to him, these two red cars are Alfa Romeos. Uh, I think it's an Alfetta, the left one, oh, and then the right one is a Disco Volante. I'm going to just kind of call out the cars that I really, really like. I like that Orange Julia. Not Orange Julius, the beverage. Although those beverages are right. This red one is a 1750 GTAM. That's probably my favorite Alfa Romeo. Okay. These are mostly by Kyosho. Um, I apologize for this cabinet. You know, the camera is having a really hard time figuring out the contrast. So it's going to constantly flicker back and forth because the cabinet is really bright along the edges, but really dark in the middle. I'm also going to go rewind quickly to this so the video isn't seven hours long. These two blue cars are Alpines. They're by Majorette. Now we get into the Astons here. I think the highlight of the Aston is this LMP car by Kyosho. Most of these Astons are by Kyosho. But I do like this one next to it. It's called the um, 177. I like that one. Okay. Austin Healy. I love original minis because I used to have one. And then this Audi RS6 by Mini GT is my favorite station wagon right now. Okay, got some Bentleys here. First one's by Yao Modellini, the rest are by Kyosho, I think, so far. But now I think right around here we get the Mini GT Bentleys. We got some Shukos here for the uh, BMWs. Uh, Mini GT, Kyosho's. Uh, this green one's Power 64. We have some Bugattis, some Granny and Partners. Although this white in Dubai one is by Auto Art. I love this blue Vision Concept one by Granny and Partners. That's from like the Gran Turismo video game. Okay, we have some Cadillacs, Lowriders. They're okay. Some Chevys. I prefer the Impala Lowriders here by um, Auto World. And this green one is by Ravel. Sorry about the focus again. I think we're getting to the dark section of the cabinet. Alright, some CM Rally cars, Citroen, some Dodge. Uh, these Dodge Vipers are by Kyosho. I like those. Duesenberg SSJ, Racing Champions. Alright. Now we get to some Ferraris here. Most of these Ferraris are by Kyosho or Dido, which are made by Kyosho. Mm, highlight would be this red P4, that's by Kyosho. And then uh, Daytona's are nice, big fan. Okay, Kyosho's all around here. All right, it's a 412 by Kyosho. Sorry. I think you can actually see my arm moving there, so I apologize for that movement. phone camera here isn't very great so it's having a hard time focusing there there's the contrast shift again f50s okay we got the f360s some enzos those are by made ace model fxx's i think these are the f430s 599s. Okay. Uh, what are these? 458s, I think. Okay. And the very latest Ferraris here by Kyosho. Fiat's. Alright. I love the Fiat 131 because they're like, they look like tissue boxes with fender flares. The left two are by Kyosho and they're very scale accurate as far as the dimensions. The CMs is a little bit oversized but it has better details so I actually like that one more which is odd because I'm such a nitpicker on scale sometimes. Alright, Beyonce makes fantastic models. Sadly that company is no more. I only have a few Mustangs XLT off-road bear but I'll get some more. Don't worry. Alright. Uh, yeah, one alone Hot Wheels. That thing is actually to scale so I threw it in there. Mad Max car by Greenlight's great. Some CM's rally cars here. And then the, this is one of those uh, Hongqi limos. 
forget who made this one, but uh, Toy Statcast. I was watching his channel. I like these limos now, these presidential looking vehicles. Some Holdens by Beyonce here. And then we get the Hondas, a big mix of Konami and Daito and TLV, uh, Kyosho, uh, Aoshima, that beat, S2000 by Hobby Japan, you know, 64 is the NSX. That Infinity is a majorette from the Gran Turismo game again. Some lower grade uh, Koenig eggs. Alright. Sorry. Alright, let me get this camera to work here. I think all these mirrors are by Kyosho. Yeah, they are. Oh boy, the color contrast again. Okay, here we go. All right, all these Countaches are by Kyosho as well. And I like this green Bravo concept car. It's by Kyosho. This is a very old Tomika Cheetah. It's a SUV prototype they did for the military, but it never became anything. Uh, and then the red one's the LM002 that was a, a reality. Okay. We have some uh, Diablos here. And then they go became Murcielagos. And then the Gallardo came out, I think. Okay, a few more. And then the Aventador. Alright. And then later on, the Huracan. We got some Kyosho and uh, Mini GT representing these. The Veneno or Veneno. Okay. And I really like this Centenario here. This was by Kyosho. What a great paint details going on. Uh, the Lancia Stratos, the first purpose built rally car. So I have three of them. These are all by CMs. Fantastic looking, if not strange looking. The 037, another great rally car. And then I believe the Lancia Deltas were the most successful uh, rally cars. I think they won six years straight the championship. I designed and 3D printed this LCC rocket, this purple car. The low tie here. Uh, it's not the James Bond car, but this white Esprit is very similar to the one that Roger Moore drove. So that's why it brings back good memories. I love 1960s Continentals. This Lincoln here. I did a wheel swap on this green light here. That's Maserati Tipo here, this red one. Fantastic, driven by Carol Shelby. Okay. Uh, what do we have next? We have some Mazdas. Konami, Yoshima. Uh, TLV is the white one. This green car is an RX500. It was this interesting concept car that Mazda did. Yoshima Grachan car. Okay, we got some RX 7s here from various brands Kyosho, TLV, Yoshima, I think. Yeah. That's a Mazda 323 rally car by CMs. A Miata by Konami, maybe? I think. Alright, let's see. My favorite car in the history of the planet is the McLaren F1. This one is the one that won Le Mans outright, this black one. So it's basically uh, almost a road car, just beat purpose-built race cars in a 24-hour long race. It's pretty nuts. These are Granny and Partner McLarens, part of that hypercar collection. Then we have a Mini GT. This one is by Sparky. And then I designed this one called the Short Track Racer, the STR. Okay, some uh, Mercedes 300 SLs, Shuko UCC Coffee, this Pullman Limousine. It's not the best uh, Pullman Limousine, by the way. The grill is not accurate, and this is made by GCD, but it's still cool. It's a Mercedes Limousine. All right, uh, Kona, I mean Kyosho is here. This is the Mini GT 190E with the emblem there. CLK, the Gran Turismo Majorette Mercedes there, 
did my own 3D wheels though. Okay. Let's get to the next one. So we got some Mitsubishi's now. TLVs. Um, this white one is by CM, it's a rally version. Next to it is a CM Starion. Some uh, BM Creations get into the mix. I like that brand. I like that you can lower the ride height and and uh, turn the wheels a bit. CM Rally Cars, Power 64 with the actual tobacco livery. Uh, let's see, an Oska made by Yao Modellini or La Festa. These Paganis are okay from that Grandian Partners hypercar collection. And then this white is a random uh, no-name brand you can get off eBay or AliExpress. It's quite good though. Alright, so... I'm sorry, but um, my back is being bent over and it's uh, providing a lot of strain. That's not what I'm used to. Alright, some Pontiacs here. This black GTO is going to have to get pulled out. It's not even 164 scale, but it's a recent acquisition, so I just threw it in because there was space on the shelf. Get into some Porsches here. Fan of all of them, really, but. Sorry, contrast again. That 959 is not very good, by the way. So, all those were Kyoshas up until these two. This Martini is by Shuko, and Sparky has the LMP one. And then this blue one is by Mini GT. I have a shelf waiting for 911s. I haven't bought many 911s because there's like 16 million castings of them. But they'll eventually fill this space in. So the first one is the TLV one, the very first 911. This is a Kyosho. Kyosho, Kyoshos. These two are by Mini Champs, this blue and black one. Then we're back to Kyosho. And then we got a couple of Pao Fangs in here. And the last one is by Sparky. Alright. Uh, let's see. We have some Peugeot rally cars by CMs. And then we have some Peugeot concept cars by Norev. Sorry, let me get the contrast going again. And then two little Renaults. See, was that saline? And then some Cobras by Kyosho. This Cobra concept, I think, was by Auto Art. And then one lone Skoda by CMs. Okay. Sorry. Subaru. Alright, I think those are Dido's, the first ones. Then a the TLV. Uh, BM Creations, I think. Yeah. Then these rally cars are all by CMs. This white one's good, it's a dealer, dealer model. This is a plastic Aoshima sandbar, it's alright. But next to it, I like this Vivio, it's a K-Class car, and it was raced by Colin McRae, and uh, that's made by CMs. Mm -hmm. BM Creations, these two little cars here, and then uh, CMs rally cars again, and then again, two plastic Aoshima trucks back there, K-Class trucks. All right, some Toyotas, a TLV, Mastaline wagon there. Uh, I think that's a Publica, the blue one, and that's by Konami. Some Dido, so, and then we get back to some TLVs, Aoshima, Grachans, I think a Konami, Konami. Sorry, it's really hard to hold this thing steady. Okay. Alright, um, one other row of Toyotas. I think these are like either Mark II's or Crowns, I forget. But this is a Rally Celica, I think, from uh, CMs. This more modern starlet is by BM Creations, this white one. And then next to it is this black uh, Pico with pop up headlights if you're into those moving parts. I like this BM Corolla. And then this is a CM's Corolla rally car here. Uh, Lexus cars. I, I class the Lexus as a Toyota, that's why it's in here. And then that's a Toyota Gazoo LMP racer. And then I got this uh, Hobby Japan Century. Big fan. 
Alright, so the last one is kind of empty. TVRs by Kyosho. Two Tyrell six wheelers by Kyosho. Some VWs. That green, light orange one is pretty cool. Alright, uh, and then this little six wheeler mini EV pickup truck by the brand X Car Toys. This red car is a Yatabe. It's a fictional car from a Japanese cartoon and it's made by Kyosho. Alright, so let's take a look at these trucks here. I don't have too many. Eventually I'll get some more. I'll have to open this cabinet a little bit. Alright, so what do we have? Well, first I have my 3D printed snowmobile motorcycle thing. I call it the Snow Panther. These vans are by TLV. Except for this one, this uh, Alphard or Alphard is by uh, Hobby Japan. I ran out of space for the Chevys, so this Chevy Monza by Johnny Lightning is just kind of sitting here on its own for now. Below we got some uh, other trucks. Well, very first in the back is that big yellow Act Mercedes Actros Transporter. That thing is fantastic. It's by uh, GCD. If you if you have the space for a truck, a big one, that's the one to get, I think. The Family Truckster by Greenlight back there. That thing just brings back memories. Alright, the Fall Guy truck is pretty good. And you know I like to be a Baracus fan. I pull that thing out for comparisons all the time. This green Land Cruiser we're looking at right here is probably the best SUV in 164 scale right now. Although the colorway is pretty miserable. If you're colorblind, it looks fantastic. But it has uh, red coil springs that actually let the suspension move like a real truck. It's quite fascinating. Way back there, I got a couple Bigfoots by Greenlight. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, get to the... Let me pause away and get to the uh, Nissan cabinet. Alright, so here is wall number two of my uh, collecting geekdom. Uh, so I have a couple videos on these things, but these are all 1-6 scale firearms and they're quite fantastic. You can actually, the newer ones, you can take apart all the parts. You know, the barrel will come out, the magazine, the action, all that stuff. This one is an old one, but where is it here? This is called a BAR and uh, it's made of real steel and wood and you can pull the action back and then pull the trigger and it'll shoot the bolt forward. So that's the coolest one I think I have in this whole collection. But you can even see like the bullets here are actually linked. The brass bullets are linked with steel clips, just like a real, you know, uh, machine gun magazine. Alright, there's a better picture of it. Alright, anyways. Down here we have some real metal lightsabers. These are all on 0.45 scale. And they're made mostly by Master Replicas, which is no longer in business I think or they're not doing these anymore and then all the non shiny ones are painted plastic resin uh, 3D prints. The full scale one is Obi-Wan Obi -Wan Kenobi's original one and that's made by a company called Roman Props as a kit and I have a video of me putting that thing together. It actually has electronics and I have a separate LED blade that actually mimics a real lightsaber and it makes crazy lightsaber sounds and stuff. Uh, again, I'm a bit of a geek. All right. So, Nissans. Let's see. So I apologize. I'm gonna continue to hit the focus here and try to. I don't know if the camera can deal with these LEDs, but the first one is by TLV. It says that's in 410, and then a bunch of 510s from various brands, Konami and uh, Dido and TLV. Then we got we have some uh, Cedrics. Aoshima, TLV, Aoshima, Aoshima, TLV. Okay. I think this is an Aoshima Sephiro, this green thing. And then we have a bunch of uh, Fairly Disease from various brands again, like Konami and Daito and Aoshima. Sorry. This camera's really bright, so I, I don't know. My camera's not dealing with this very well. So I apologize. All right, so this next row here, these are Nissan Glorias. TLVs, Aoshima, TLV. You have this IDX by TLV. Nissan Laurels, some Aoshima Laurels. Nissan Leopards here, Aoshimas. 
Okay, now we get to into Skylines here. This is the first one, the Prince Skyline Coupe by Kyosho. I think the next one is Kyosho, and then we have a bunch of TLVs. And then I think back to either Konami or Kyosho and Greenlight. These custom ones are Aoshima's. This is a highlight, this blue purple color shift one. That's an Aoshima one. That's one of my favorite Skylines. Some Kyosho race versions. All right. Then we have the Ken Mary ones, Aoshima's, all the Grachan ones, a couple normal ones from Konami or Kyosho, and even UCC Coffee. All right, so a bunch of Skylines. I think these, yeah, these first two are UCC's, those freebie ones. That's an Aoshima Police one. This is an F Toys plastic one, but I did a wheel swap, and it actually looks pretty good. So, all right, sorry, I'm creeping on my uh, knees here, so a little uncomfortable. Mini GT, Kyosho's. This pink one's also very good. It's a no-name brand you can get online. It's usually shown with a picture of 10 other colors. If you do a wheel swap, it's fantastic. But the stock tires are a little weird. Okay. Some uh, more Mini GTs. A Kyosho yellow hat here. Then we get to some Sylvia's here. I uh, got a BM Diecast Masters, BM Creations. That's a Nissan Sunny, this blue one. And then the TLV Vision Gran Turismo. A couple competition cars made by Kyosho. I believe this black Delta Wing was done by Sparky. And then we have a CM's Rally car. Another one as well, and another one. So moving on, the rest of the cabinet is just dedicated to mostly Hot Wheels and uh, you know non-scale cars. And most of these Hot Wheels were 3D printed wheel projects, so you, you really won't find the standard Hot Wheels wheels on them. These are all 3D prints, except for that La Troca, the gold truck. Those are metal alloy wheels, I think, from that Ward C brand. Um, I will note that down here, Johnny Lightning made really good Simpsons cars. The paint quality on these are quite good, and they do look like cartoons. So um, I was really impressed with uh, what Johnny Lightning did for those. I also like these two Star Wars cars, this Darth Vader and Bounty, Boba Fett Bounty Hunter there. Those are by Tomika, uh, just the regular Tomika cars. They, they really have a lot of styling elements from those... Uh, characters. Uh, a couple of Batmobiles of course. This is a Charo Wheels Batmobile 1989. A couple uh, time machines there. Uh, the Decatur truck <clears throat> and the Mystery Machine is always a favorite. And then I do love these Mercedes Premiums that Hot Wheels has done. They're, they're really nicely done. I like them. Okay. Oh, and that RS200 is a highlight as well from Hot Wheels, I think. Alrighty. Let me pause away for the next cabinet. These are 187 scales. I've had these for a very long time. Uh, these are actually better detailed than almost all the 164s. They're made by Spark Model. And their 187 scale cars are ex like probably three times better than Spark Model 164s. These things all have antennas. They're all resin, so they have like very deep air vents, and they're just amazingly detailed. They're astounding, really. So that's why I kept them. Uh, the other ones are so by Herpa, Herpa, Rico. Uh, I think Mini Champs are those F ones, McLaren F ones down there. Okay, uh, I guess I'm starting to collect these 172 scale or 176 scale James Bond Kyoshos. I bought the BMW by accident, and uh, it actually is better detailed than the Kyosha 164 scale Z8. So I'm gonna just get all of them eventually, I guess, because I love those old James Bond movies. All right, so I'm gonna rearrange these for you, but this is how these things sit normally. I don't have much space here, so I have to put all these nice cars in this, you know, layout here but I'm gonna rearrange them for you 
Okay, so I took them off the shelf because there isn't it. It's not enough light getting to the models because they're literally in shadow. So I just put them out on this counter and I have a couple of flashlights uh, trying to help illuminate things. I'll try to do it in alphabetical order here. This Apollo IE is uh, one of the best models I think in this whole hobby. It has so many nice details and small parts on it that it's uh, definitely got to be one of my top 10 as far as technical details go. This RS7 is really nice, just not many parts on it. The reason why this Mini Champs Bentley Brooklyn's is in here is because the actual Bentley logo has two pieces of metal photo ish and then the wings are splayed out. You can see that flying wing, right? It's crazy. Unfortunately, there's a lot of paint rash. There's the De Tomaso thing here. This scale Mini 250LM is not good. The reason why is it has these goofy... Nope, that's not it. Uh, those wheels look like 20-inch wheels on a 1960s or 1950s Ferrari. It makes no sense. I don't know what these guys were thinking putting those wheels on this car. Very odd. This is another highlight of my whole collection. One of my top 10. Maybe one of my top 5. This one was made by SCM, but you can get it under different brands. Just look up like 250 GTO resin. It has so many parts and details, it's fantastic. Okay, yeah, the Enzo's alright. F50 is alright. This thing's okay. That's okay, but overpriced, this Monza. These Mad Max cars by Ace Model are fantastic as well. Obviously, if you like the movie. They're resin models. They're pretty well detailed. It's a shame that they're so hard to find and so expensive. Okay, other two. Not really a fan of this Hoonigan truck. It's poorly designed. No 64s are pretty much like, like all of them, but uh, they're not the best models in the world, but they also don't cost as much either. I always mention this one by JEC, this Jaguar, and it's got a lot of great details on it, and for the price that I paid for it, it's absolutely mar fantastic. So it's really nice. Big fan of that one. Okay. Yeah, these are nice, obviously. This is nice, but I think the Lambo has more, more parts in it. I think it's technically more difficult to make. And then this MR Collection Terzo Millennio is one of my favorite cars. It has such a fantastic paint job that uh, it can't be beat. I think that's the best paint job out of this entire collection. Master Land Cruiser is alright. This Lincoln Future is quite interesting. It's the, the car that became the Batmobile. It's well done. It's okay. The reason why this Roadster is in this uh, case is because it has a tiny antenna. You know, it's very fragile looking, so I, I leave it in the hard case. As much as I love this McLaren F1, this model has poorly designed wheels, so the wheels don't match the real car, but it's still cool. This is a great value. Uh, I love this because of its uh, economic value. It has an Alcantara or like a suede texture in the interior and the carbon fiber looks fantastic. This is made by a LCD model, LCD. Tarmac Works Hobby. Shuko, uh, nice model and all, but the, the fact that they use this weird case, you know, it can't stack, it's not standard size. It, it just doesn't fit collections very well. So it's just kind of silly that they think that they're better than everyone else and they can have their own case. All right, some, uh, Tarmac and Innos here. Yeah, okay. That Pajero truck is really well detailed too. Same with this uh, Sunny pickup truck. I mean, it's got the tiny fender mirrors. So Inno, Inno did a great job with that casting. Okay, a Primera. I left this purple, this purple Sylvia with the body kit on it's really nice too. I like the graphics of this Nissan, but it's some sort of plastic wrap. And so there's all these air bubbles underneath that plastic wrap. So long term, I'm afraid this thing's going to crack apart. Ignition model. You know, bad Nissan logo on that one. Time Micro usually has quality problems. These are LCDs. They're awesome. Fantastic quality. Tons of detail. 
decent price. I highly recommend the LCD model. Timothy and Pierre's are nice, but they're overpriced. They're lacking details compared to this. This orange one is tight in 64. That's the best classic 911 you can buy, I think, today. Okay. Time Micro. This is the one Time Micro that doesn't have quality problems. So that one is nice. Uh, I forget. I think JEC makes this pink pig. And then, uh, yeah. This Power 64 is pretty nice. There's really no reason for this one to be in the case. There are no sensitive parts. Uh, the reason why I just left this in the case is because if I take it out of the case, I have to put the case somewhere else. And I don't live in a big place, so it's just more space efficient that I leave it in the box. So, I kind of wish, like, some of these, uh, less expensive brands just didn't include a case at all. Then I would be forced to put it, you know, in... I wouldn't feel guilty about throwing a case away. Alright. Okay, so a couple of uh, Range Rovers from LCD. They're they're nice, and then just random brands, Time Micro or no name brands, Rolls Royces. And these Rolls Royces helped convince me to even enter this hobby. That and that green Lamborghini I just showed you. So I love the BMW owned Rolls Royces. Here's the Phantom Seven in particular, although it has a scratch in the windshield. Uh, so these are nice. Okay. These are by a company called Modelers. Or no, I forget. Sorry. I, I think I'm getting brain damage. I can't remember anything anymore. So I have a video on this. You'll just have to search like AE86 AE Trueno. But these are nice models. Very cool. Okay, some uh, Inno and Pop Race. Ignition model. I think Ignition makes the best Supra of the JZ A80 class. YM model. I only have two, I think. But this is a fantastic model, this pink thing. So that, that review will come soon. And then uh, you got that interesting Robert Design Volkswagen Beetle. Kudos to Robert Design, you know, getting a model, physical model made of his uh, digital concept. And then... Uh, that tarmac Volvo wagon is uh, decent. It's okay. And so I just wanted, you know, to give a thanks to everyone, really. Uh, everyone that takes the time to watch everyone else's channels. And everyone that actually has their own channels and is nice enough to share their collections with everyone else. So it's a great community that we have here in the uh, scale model car world. And I guess I will continue to keep on doing these reviews. I've come to enjoy it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care and drive safely.